Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently I uploaded a video called Break the Leg. If you haven't watched it, I'll post the card up here so you can check it out. The response that we got from that video was great. Then I thought the natural progression would be for me to show you how to break the arm. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Here you will find Wing Chun related content like how to, tutorials, demos, and even my Wing Chun by Design podcast. So you may wanna consider subscribing so you can keep up to date with all the content that I'm uploading on a weekly basis. So guys, for today, I'm gonna to show you three different strategies you can use to break the arm when someone is approaching you and is at close range. The second option is when someone launches a straight punch at you. And the third one is when someone has already put their hand on you and is maybe trying to choke you with that single hand. Okay guys, let us not waste time. Let's get started. Perfect. So when wanting to break the arm, basically you need to do two things, trap and control. Once you trap and control, then you have the option, how far do you wanna go with the technique? See, the cool thing about everything that I'm showing you is that with all my previous videos and today's video, I'm just giving you options. Once you trap that arm, you decide whether you want to go for that lock, whether you want to attack, you wanna to go to the center, you wanna to go to the leg, you have the option because that's what, in my opinion, martial arts and Wing Chun is all about is expressing yourself. And plus, when you're in a confrontation, you don't have time to think, you only have time to react. So muscle memory kicks in, your training reps kick in. So for the first scenario, the opponent is approaching us with a hand that's threatening, right? They're not fully launching the attack just yet, but you feel the need to protect yourself. And when they have one hand kind of, or a finger pointing towards you, it's a great opportunity to catch and trap that arm. So what I'm doing here, once I trap Sean's arm, I decide what I do next. Do I wanna crank it and go all the way? I can then just basically push my forearm, the elbow, all the way down against his elbow. And that's it for his arm. <clears throat> Great, scenario number two. This time, we're dealing against the opponent launching a straight punch at us. Trapping and catching punches that are coming at you is very hard, unless you intercept by redirecting the punch. So today I'm using a quasal technique to redirect, to just stop the punch and then be able to catch it. Once I catch it, I can do what I did on the previous technique. I can just go all the way with the arm break, or right now I'm gonna show you a variation where I just go to the face. Awesome, third scenario. This time, the person has already put their hand on you. So what do you do next? Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, you have many different options. You can just punch, kick, do all sorts of different things. But keeping it with the context of this video, it's all about the arm break. So what I'm showing you now is an option where you can do this, but it's different from the previous technique, right? So the ending is different. So this time, Sean has his hand on me and he's threatening to punch me with the other hand. So I need to be quick in my approach. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button, share it with a friend. And guys, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. There's plenty of material there to keep you busy training and taking your Wing Chun to the next level. If you haven't already, check out my online academy. It's umauniversity.com.au. There's a free introductory applied Wing Chun course you can check out and learn from those videos as well. Having said that, I'll see you in the next one.